Hello, welcome to World History. This is day 22A, and we are beginning ancient Greece today. We're also going to talk about ancient Persia, because at the end of the Greek Empire, uh, Persia and Greece are going to end up uh, having a major altercation. Uh, Persia is going to want to force to get some taxes from Greece, and Greece is going to say, uh, no. Um, please pray with me as we begin day 22. Dear Jesus, thank you that we get to move to another ancient civilization, uh, moving closer to the present. We thank you for all that the Greek culture teaches us and that the Greek language is the common language that you used to get the news of the gospel first all over the world. In Jesus' name, amen. All right, so classical civil civilizations. The ancient Greek, to a certain extent, ancient Persian and ancient Roman civilizations are considered classical civilizations. So you could also say classical Greece, classical Rome, sometimes classical Persia. You can go to these ruins today and see uh, the great pillars and the remnants of what they valued in their civilization, their architectural accomplishments. Uh, here is a painting kind of showing uh, the falling of Atlantis, which originally is a, a Greek myth. And we're going to talk about the development of states and of empires today. So Roman numeral one to write down is the development of states and empires. What characteristics do classical civilizations share? Well, the classical age is largely considered 600 BC to 600 AD. And the number and size of key states and empires grows dramatically. So uh, during this age, eventually Greece is going to take, I'm sorry, Rome is going to take over Greece. So they're going to take the land that Greece had had, Rome will. And then you have this Persian empire here. Kush has a pretty mighty empire down in Africa. And uh, there were several different empires going on in China. We looked at China recently, different empires going on in India as well. Before Rome conquers all of this kind of southern European region in northern Africa, Alexander the Great is going to have conquests, of course, from north of Greece. Um, and then he's going to go east towards Turkey. He's going to conquer Egypt and Persia and part of India. And then he's going to die of a malaria. But we'll talk about Alexander the Great in a bit. Uh, during this classical age, rulers imposed political unity on areas where previously there had been competing states. So it's sort of the age of empire, if you will, and whoever was the emperor would exact taxes from all of the people, even if they had been independent lands previously. The third note to write down is that empires and states uh, developed new techniques of imperial administration. And this was based sometimes on what worked before. So they would build and learn from each other. And so you sort of had a growing political system, a growing idea of government. Rome borrows things that Greece had used previously. You have this kind of thing. And number four is that these techniques included centralized governments, bureaucracies, and elaborate legal systems. Of course, China at this point has been using a bureaucracy for a while, the government's civil service exam. Bureaucracy has to do with specified government jobs and roles and how you get those and where the government collects taxes and then pays certain people to kind of administer the affairs of the land and to try to keep some unity, to repair roads, those kinds of things. Imperial governments, in addition to uh, working domestically to make life good with safe roads, also have um, standing militaries and promote trade. So uh, that could also involve taxing, but they would have certain standards of what kinds of goods and how many are we letting in and what are we selling to other people groups. And then the roads to connect all of those, the Roman road being the most famous um, in the West. And coins that would be printed with perhaps the the current emperor's image. Um, they would oversee the official making of coins. They would have diplomacy to try to avoid war when possible. Uh, they would have contingent